So generally what I like to start with is a lot of triggers. So I've got full 16 triggers coming from Stilson Hammer now. So I'm going to start just by introducing an accent pattern. So I'm patching from the accent input on the mutant machine to the track one CV out from the stills and hammer sequencer. So now let's see what happens when we modulate some other parameters. I'm going to start with the membrane decay. I'm going to use the uh, second CV output, uh, track two on the stills and hammer. There's already some notes in there. Let me just bring them back down to zero. If I turn down the membrane decay, that really uh, emphasizes the membrane decay modulation. I want to get some melodic elements in there, so I'm going to use uh, yet another track from uh, Stilson Hammer. that into the pitch CV. See, I haven't used at all the scanning ability. And that, that sounds pretty cool. So, but I, I also like it not on. <laughs> really, I want to mix it up. And luckily, we have the enable input here, so I'm going to get that involved. I'm going to use the noise output as a random gates to enable the uh, scanning. So I plug that into enable. If you see if I turn up the pitch, it will go faster. Until so it becomes noise again, basically. But again, we're not listening to the noise output here. This is just the um, the membrane output scanning in a disorganized, chaotic fashion because it's being uh, turned on and off by a, a, a random a noise source. It's pretty cool, but I'm going to turn it down so we get more like on-off behavior. Okay, let's mult the uh, pitch CV to the scan frequency and see what that does. So as you can hear, it's 
moving into the noisy territory. And you can see that the left hand oscillator is going from individual waveforms to frequency modulated scanning and back again. Let's turn it up a little bit. swapping the membrane decay uh, for all decay so that adds uh, snappy decay and importantly pitch decay it sounds completely different well let's modulate the snappy pitch CV why not 